Well, it has been quite a while. So I've been getting hammered with subs and <laughs> comments on YouTube all of a sudden. I'm not really sure why. Apparently, I guess someone popular has recently started playing SS13. And that has in turn sort of blown up my channel. Uh, and when I say blown up, I mean like I'm getting like three or four subs a day, which is unusual. It's not really blowing up though. Um, and I've seen a couple requests for Shaft Miner, so uh, here we are. Uh, Shaft Miner is not something I play frequently. So again, there's going to be missing information. I'm not going to be able to teach you everything, but I should be able to get all you new players started as a Shaft Miner. And then everything else you can probably uh, manage yourself or ask fellow employees about. Um, as well as uh, just... I don't know if this is going to be a resurgent, resurgence rather of uh, tutorials from me. Who knows? This might just be a one-off thing, just because I felt like it. Uh, we will see. And uh, I gotta. I'm not recording my mouse because I I've forgotten how to do this shit. Um, anyway. Let me just, uh, be adding myself there. But before I get started, I want to thank everybody who's been subbing recently. Uh, I'm mainly a Twitch streamer, I'm not a YouTuber. I sort of stopped making these tutorials because my YouTube channel got unpartnered because they raised the sub limit required to actually make money. And I was actually sort of making money off my SS13 tutorials. So I got a little, uh, discouraged. If you want to give me a follow on Twitch or something like that, I, I'd be appreciative. Or if you want to throw some muns my way, I'll leave my Streamlabs link in the description below. But let's go ahead and get started on your Shaft Miner life. So, first off, you want to come to one of these lockers and get some of your basic equipment. Some of which you will probably not end up using. But uh, you start off with quite a few things which are all useful. Uh, first thing you might want to take this mining satchel and put it on your belt slot if you have an empty belt slot, which you should. And I'll explain what that does later. You want to grab an automatic mining uh, scanner from here. You may or may not want the pickaxe, but we're just going to go ahead and grab it. Shovel is not super useful for you, but I will show you what it does. Uh, we're not going to worry about this. I'll try and remember to explain what it does later. We want a blue space shelter capsule. We definitely want the proto kinetic accelerator. And then the optical masons are useful. And then that's all you really need from that. So, go over here to this shuttle to go off to Lava Land, which is where you are going to be mining. Is very dangerous. It has lots of hostile mobs, some of which will completely wreck your shit if you run into them. And uh, I'm not the best at combat in this game, which is one reason I'm not typically a miner. But I'll try my best to explain stuff to you. So you're going to want to come up here and uh, open these suit storage and eject a gas mask for yourself and the explorer suit. And pop the hood on. Uh, and then you're going to want to grab yourself an oxygen canister, which can attach to the suit storage then I'll give a quick tour this you can like smelt some of your ores and stuff and you can even like press them into coins if you want to do that 
I'm not really gonna cover this because this is all like not really important. You got a kitchen for food and stuff. You've got a med bay that is not super well stocked. To be honest, this is just a server, and then there's more um, there's more mining equipment out here if you want to grab the equipment from here. As well as you start out with this little mining voucher down here in your backpack. You want to pop that into one of these, and you can get a free uh, little kit. So the resonator kit might be good. Resonator, I'll just show you what the resonator does. And then this little vending machine, there's one up on uh, the station as well, several. This is uh, where you spend your mining points, which is basically a currency you earn for getting ore and stuff. Okay, so. Oh, that light just burst. Go ahead and turn your oxygen on. You're going to want to grab a. Uh, a uh, ore box and then you're gonna head out you're gonna get this pressure warning uh oh there's a goliath or, okay so we're going right into combat it's not really what I wanted to do go ahead and turn your uh, flashlight and we're getting the eerie moans let me go ahead and oh, can I not up the size of the text right now that's weird why can I do that oh well so as you can see down here, an eerie moan rises on the way and sheets of burning ash black in the horizon. It means you want to get the fuck inside a place. You have about 20 or so seconds uh, to get into a safe place. Is that Goliath attacking? I don't think he is. And this ash comes. If you're outside while this is happening, you get burnt really quick. And uh, yeah, it's not good. So you want to get inside, that's also what this little blue space shelter capsule is for. If you're caught in the middle of nowhere, you want to pop that thing, throw it down, and it'll uh, make a little shelter for you. And I'll uh, demonstrate that later. Right now, we unfortunately just have to wait out this storm. But, yeah. Hopefully you can hear me over the game. I might lower the game volume just a bit. Okay. Some of the ambient sounds can be a little loud, and I don't want to like have to re-record this whole thing if uh, you know ends up being too loud okay you don't want to go outside that was a mistake so we're going to be fighting okay you just saw what the goliath's main attack is right there uh so this is your best the kinetic accel accelerator is the best way of dealing with goliaths early on at least it can only shoot three tiles ahead of you you can also uh i mean you can target things and it'll shoot closer. I don't think you can... You can't shoot it right in front of you. I'm pretty sure you can shoot it at this tile. I don't know why it's not letting me. But we're gonna go deal with him. As you can see, it's kinda like a shotgun. It has one thing and then it recharges. So if you get the timing down, you can shoot rather quickly. So we're gonna run out here. So here's a Goliath. Uh, See, so yeah, if it has red eyes, that means it's about to use its tentacles. You don't want to get caught by those because it freezes you. And you want to keep your distance from this thing because it also has a melee attack. Um, like it just demonstrated. So you want to just keep not, you want to not miss first of all, but you want to keep moving. Uh, these guys aren't that tough. You just don't want to get caught by the tentacles, okay, and it's dead. So, here's a little thing. Uh, take your survival knife, go into hostile intent, and butcher it. This is going to be very helpful for you. And put your survival knife away, and you'll see it drops bones, goliath meat. But what we're interested in is these uh, goliath hide plates. You can pick up 
and click on your explorer suit and you add it and it makes it better. You can also do this with the mining hard suits, which, I will, which we'll hopefully be able to get one so I can show it. With the mining hard suits, you can also use the plates on the mining hard suits helmet to improve your like head defense and whatnot. So I'm a little hurt. I'm not gonna worry about it too much right now. You do start out with a this thing right here, which is the survival meta pen, which will heal you pretty good from a pretty terrible state. But anyway, let's get to the mining. For that, you wanna grab your automatic mine scanner and turn it on and put it back in your backpack and you will see flashes of ore. So you can use a pickaxe if you want just click if you'd like to do it that way and you can also you can click like however many at a time can't click diagonally so you can do that and with this mining satchel here on your belt just walking over or we'll uh, pick it up now let's go back and grab our crate because the mining satchel can only hold so much but um what you're probably going to see most people doing is using this because it is faster especially once you get the timing down uh... it's much faster to mine with this thing now the good thing about these optical masons that i equipped earlier is you're going to be able to see the shape of uh... caves or whatever going through i don't know if you really call them caves but you'll see ground that you can walk on and a lot of the times uh, there's gonna be baddies if you like mine into the other side of a wall chances are you could run into something nasty so we're gonna just keep picking up all this ore there really isn't a whole lot to this part to early mining so uh, while I'm doing this I'll explain a few things about Lava Land so there's quite a few hostile mobs Including these things called megafauna, which you really don't want to run into unless you're like robust as shit <laughs> and very well equipped. So there are ash drakes. Okay, see my mining satchel's full. So let's go back and grab this. Go ahead and drag your mining satchel over to your hand and just dump it. You just click once in it. You'll see that it has. You click on the box and that tells you what's in it. All right. So uh, anyway, there are dragons, and there's also a uh, very large. Uh, I guess he's a slaughter demon called Bubblegum, who will murder you to death. There's also this thing called Legion, which I've never actually experienced myself. He's a big, like, uh, skull thing, but I don't think he really counts as megafauna. I think he's actually, like, a boss. So, uh, yeah, and I will, you already saw Goliath. That was a little tentacle spewing thing. Maybe we'll run into one of the little legions, which, uh... So I can show you how to sort of fight that. There's also these things called watchers, which um, are these eyeball things that shoot freezy beams at you that you really need to dodge. I am not very good at fighting them. And don't get carried away in your mining because that will pop up and you might miss it. So we're not that far from base. We could totally make it back, but let's go ahead and use this capsule. So I can show you what it does. You throw it down and it builds a little base for you. It deletes anything that needs to be deleted. Don't want to be under it because it will gib you immediately. Unfortunately, I can probably grab those off the wall once you go around. But you've got amenities in here. You've got a GPS thing which will actually show you where megafauna are located. The fiery signal more than likely means uh, ash drake. Eerie signal, I'm not sure. There must be some megafauna that I'm forgetting about, which is not good for a tutorial, but uh, sorry about that. 
Eerie soda, what would that be? Because there's only one bubble gum. Hmm. Not sure. Anyway, that's for if you want to hunt these things for whatever reason. In here you've got a little fridge. It has a guitar in it. Um, some warm, warm donk pockets, which are nice. I could actually probably use some right now. Go ahead and do that. Pretty soon we will go back to the station so I can show you how to claim your mining points and whatnot. Okay. Warm donk pockets also heal you. Uh, somewhat, if I remember correctly. There's a sleeper here, so if you're with somebody, they can give you medical attention. And there is oxygen in here, so you technically don't need to have your... I don't... I actually haven't had my oxygen on. Uh, oh, that's because... Yeah, I did have my oxygen. I adjusted my mask, that's why it was off. Don't mind me, it's been a while since I've played this game. But the unfortunate thing about this kinetic accelerator is you cannot uh, shoot directly in front of you. So let's, uh, let's try this thing out. This is a resonator. You can get an upgraded version of this. What you do is you place these down and it just blows them up is faster than either the uh, accelerator or the um, pickaxe uh, like I said you can get an improved one and these I've found are pretty good for beating the shit out of little legion things that's what I use it for anyway don't know if that is the you know best way to deal with legions but they're really weak to melee combat uh, but you can get an upgraded version from the vending machine, which I will show you. So the best mining tool, however, for both combat and mining is a plasma cutter, which requires science to research it first, I believe. Then it will be available from the cargo prolath, so you can print one out for yourself. And there's a plasma cutter and then there's an advanced plasma cutter which is really good I will maybe uh, cheat one in just to show it to you uh, just because I'm you know on my own little private server here which is very good for testing things out and making tutorials like this I might uh, I'd actually show you guys how to do that someday because for some people it could be confusing. So we've got some ore. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and take this stuff back. Let's grab this stuff. Can't grab that. And I'll show you how to claim the cash money for this. Looks like that Goliath damaged the base a little bit there. Strap yourself in. Don't bash the computer on accident. <laughs> this backpack's pretty big. Oh, and I need to show you the beacons as well. I'll do that when I go back down. There's, for whatever reason, a single piece of iron ore here, which if you want to take, go ahead. So what you want to do, check your ID out, put it in this machine, then drag this cargo or this ore box right over there. You'll see it's empty now. Then go over, click on this. You'll see you have put all your stuff in there. And also, current unclaimed points, you want to go ahead Claim the points, check your ID, put it back in. So now the, you know, science, cargo, whoever can come up to this thing and say, oh, I want 10 sheets of this metal and it'll spit it out. Because you, uh, you mined up the ore required for that. 
and yeah cargo can sell it for credits and science will bug cargo for it for research uh, the cargo prolate is right here and uh, you can see undermining designs there isn't anything so magic spell give me give me a plasma cutter yay and as you can see there's no plasma cutter in front of me so that's good you actually you have to um, have to charge this thing is 100% charged and well you just saw it fire there so this is just a normal I don't actually want to get rid of this but I do need to make some space so we're gonna get rid of the resonator uh, for now anyway we really don't need the pickaxe I didn't show you what the shovel did but if you use the shovel on the uh, ground on lava land it makes sand which can be used to make glass so here is the vending machine what you want to do is eject your ID out put it in the vending machine and you can look through all the stuff you can purchase so there's some crazy stuff it's quite expensive the super resonator is the upgraded resonator I was talking about it's quite good and the mining hard suit is something you probably want to get as soon as possible so we've only got a thousand points so we cannot get that right now there's also you know, there's so much stuff um, which really you just need to experiment with I mean some of the stuff is pretty self-explanatory uh, you can see these there's these mine bot upgrade things when you use that uh, voucher I showed you earlier you can actually get a little mine bot which will go around and mine for you I'm pretty sure you can get one just from here if I remember correctly yeah nano trace and mine bot I never use them personally but so that's how you use your ID with your uh, points and whatnot and put that away all right let's head back down and see if I can't show you some more things but you've probably basically got the gist now you could probably be a relatively successful miner but I do want to try and run into some of the other hostile mobs plasma cutter is probably really good for dealing with the watchers I was talking about because they are the ones that give me the most trouble but I'll show you how the plasma cutter works it's quite awesome you're not always don't remember don't forget <laughs> don't remember forget to turn your oxygen on and that is the power of the plasma cutter it is fantastic and you can charge the plasma cutter with plasma ore as you saw there so you want one of these as soon as possible like absolutely and here's our little shuttle it is and the plasma cutter is both you know a mining tool a really incredibly powerful mining tool as well as a weapon which I can demonstrate here and of course it is not uh, it does not have the unfortunate uh, range issues that the kinetic accelerator does so it's easier to fight I'd say but I don't think it does as much damage as you're probably uh, noticing so let's go ahead and get this bad boy back out and finish it off oh I almost got caught there you're probably wondering what that blue crystal thing is below me I will get into that in a second and then like I said always always butcher your Goliaths for their plates put that baby on there alright so that's gibbonite and it blew up my oh no it didn't they explode um, 
If you hit the Gebonite before it explodes, you can harvest it and basically use it as your own bomb. And the closer you hit it again um, to its point of explosion, the stronger its explosion will be once you uh, activate it again, basically. Fortunately, there's some more ash storm coming, which uh, you'll probably edit this out. So you don't have to wait. All right, Ash Storm is over, so we can carry on. Let's see if we can't come across some different types of. Uh oh, there's another Goliath. So these guys are pretty common here. So you have like a split second to avoid the tentacles if you're like if they're on top of you when he spawns them but don't break the box oh you okay so yeah per, uh the kinetic accelerator is definitely the way to go with goliath i'm not gonna worry about butchering this thing right now since i'm just showing you the ropes but never don't ever skip you know Okay, we've got a watcher. This is a watcher. And as you can see, we've got something strange up there. And they shoot ice beams, which slow you down. And they get close. And hopefully I don't die to this fucking thing. I always have trouble with them. Okay. <laughs> so that's not how you want to deal with those things. Just FYI. And butcher them, and you can get diamond ore and some of their bits. Not really sure what this is used for. I'm sure it's got some use. Uh, so we've got something up here. Might as well check it out. Could be incredibly dangerous, could be nothing. Seems to be a ship. Oh, I think I know what this is. So this is... Oh, maybe not. Ooh. We've uh, lucked out here. Or this is the... Uh, this is the Golem ship. Which is a place that you can spawn as if... Spawn at if you die. So you may run into other players here. But there's an upgraded resonator here. I'm just gonna just gonna take that for myself I'm also gonna use my survival pen and there's uh, some brute trauma stuff here oh, oops I just punched myself <laughs> I'm bruised and numb survival pen is really good I'm pretty sure you can get more of those why can't I grab it's in here Go ahead and uh, just take that since there's no one here. If there aren't any golems, you might as well just take all that, all those brute patches for yourself. Because why not? So, there are many randomly uh, placed structures that can appear in Lava Land. Some of them are very dangerous. There's There are some ruins here that are based on the seven deadly sins. And each of them have like a little puzzle or something that you have to do to gain its quote unquote powers. Which could be, you know, something positive or something just weird. Uh, I'm gonna leave you to find those yourself. Like I said, they're randomly placed. Okay, so we've got a legion up here. I'm gonna use the resonator to beat the shit out of him. So he spawns these, he shoots out these little skulls. Something that I didn't mention about the resonator is you do not want to be on one of the blasts when, uh, okay, he's dead. You don't want to be on one of the blasts when it goes off because it will fuck your day up. So this thing's real scary. 
<laughs> if you see this, you want to back the fuck off. Um, Legion's drop. Oh, and with the resonators, you can decide how quickly their little fields drop off. So these guys have regenerative cores, which, uh, which you can use right away to heal yourself completely, which is nice. This is something. We'll, we'll check out a couple of these. I'm, I will show you what that is towards the end of the tutorial. But there's a couple of things I want to show you first. Assuming we can, can we get into this place. I'm not sure what this place is. Also, I haven't. Oh, right. We don't. We're out of. Uh, we're out of charge. All right. Awful. So, I left my crate behind. You don't really want to do that. Hopefully, we don't run into any beasties. So, this is a wooden airlock. It's also. You're very slow on this floor. Huh. I'm not entirely sure what this is. It's been a while. I assume this is one of the seven deadly sin ruins. Which you... Ooh! Do we stop it? Which you get to the end of and you get, you know, something. Really quick though, we are going to go back to the station because I have one thing to show you there. I think I've covered a deep. Also, lava. Never step in lava. Step in lava, you fucking done. You fucking done, mate. So, uh, let's get out of here. I'm not going to go into great detail with what I'm about to show you, but, uh, I want to explain something that I bypassed over earlier. So, you may have noticed this, uh, landing zone landing field designator so what that does need my ID back and claim these points so there is something up here called the auxiliary base uh, construction area or whatever which is right here what you can do is you can use this entire area here to build a base and then you can send it down to lava land by using that location designator thing so if you want you know a better base farther afield once you've gotten there that's how you do it uh, so yeah, I just wanted to show that for anyone who might have been wondering what that landing de landing field designator thing is. But as you can see, I had the option to blind drop it, which would just put it randomly somewhere in Lava Land, but you don't necessarily really want to do that. Let's go get our ass kicked by uh, that flashy purple thing. Because I think I've, uh, I think you guys have got the gist of mining now. You can probably work out the more advanced stuff on your own. I believe I've gone over everything a, you know, newbie miner should know. Again, always ask people for help if you uh, don't know something or whatever. But this should definitely get you started. So we're going to go check out whatever that purple thing was. I certainly don't know what it was. Hopefully it's not some horrific fucking, like, god or something that I don't know what it really is because I've never really beaten it or anything. 
Uh, hello? Hello, is someone here? What are you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm shooting it. I'm shooting it, whatever it is. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, the Hierophant. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. And uh, maybe I'll see you next time.